I could probably get this done in half the time it would take you. Why don't I clear your backlog and show you some shortcuts? Oh, that would be really kind. And the answer is yes. Please. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Uh, we just have to keep an eye on you. Yeah, be careful. I get up to all sorts here. <laughs> Anyone home? Uh, sorry, if you just excuse me, I'll be back in a minute. Um, Scott James. There's a problem. Well, I've just been listening to his chest and it sounds a bit wet to me. Hmm. All right. In fact, he's running out of time. I've already suggested to the transplant coordinator that he be made a priority. But in terms of him actually getting a heart? Hmm. Well, let's try stepping up the fruzamide to 240 milligram tablets twice a day. Keep the lysinopril at 5 milligram. If he doesn't improve, then um, we'll start him on 10 milligrams of valsartan. In the meantime, the more rest he gets, the better. Feeling. I'm good. I'm good. I'm... Thank you. And that's patient number? Two. Two. I'll get there. Not at that rate. Oh, Miss Naylor, Mr. Flowers is complaining of abdominal pains. Mr. Flowers, yes, it's nothing to worry about. We'll give you some medication that ought to sort out the problem. Daisha? It's cellulitis, minor infection. Give him Kurt Moxiclav 1.2 IV and ask Dr. Valentine to monitor him. I could, um... And remind him that I want updates on that clerking. Do you think she actually enjoys being such a bitch? Uh, it's more than just a hobby. I can give you a hand. No, oh, thanks. She's expecting me to come up short. Thinks I can't hack it. She's right. It's Mission Impossible. She thinks, but I'm going to prove her wrong. Suit yourself. Thanks. For the offer. Mm, strictly professional. Yeah, I just want to prove that I can do it by myself, you know? I'm sorry. No, don't be. It's your choice. No, I'm, that was an apology. I'm sorry, what I said about Joe, I just wasn't thinking. All I can do is keep saying sorry. Yes, I did hear you. a good idea just to send her an email saying thanks but no thanks. Have done. Three times. Maybe you could send one for me. Mr. Williams has left the building. Or you could just go and meet her. <laughs> How would that help? Well, she might not fancy you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Hey, Judith should have sent that one too. Yes, HR. I know. I have to look at everything. Thanks for doing this. I mean, I know she appears brusque at times, but I don't think that's who she really is. And she really is good news for her. AAU. Yeah, that's what you're right. What? Nothing, just more misplaced mail. Better get on with this. You could be making a friend for life. Jack Naylor didn't forget. Oh, forgive. How'd you know? Look on your face. What she's given me to do would take two housemen nearly a day and a half. It's ridiculous. We'll just tell her it can't be done. Oh, yeah, sure. She'd love that. No, I'm, I'm going to manage somehow. She gives everyone a hard time. Just beats her at her own game. Tell me how. Get the work done and don't let her see it matters. Well, that's easier said than done. <sighs> Someone has managed it. Grace Collins. Right, have the uh, test results come back? Not yet, but there's a clear choice. Between medication and surgery, as I know. Um, though she will need surgery at some point. If not now, then later. But she is pretty anxious to get back to work. Apparently her business needs her. You're recommending medication? Well, she stopped taking the beta blockers for a couple of weeks. Of course, you're right, surgery is inevitable at some stage. I'd restart medication and put her on a list for elective surgery in a couple of months. All in all, I'd probably go for surgery now. I mean, she's in sinus. 
If we wait too long and she has atrial fibrillation, then we lose the benefit. Let's wait for the test. I'll come and take another look at her. Shall we? Right, yes, of course. Mrs. Collins. Samantha, which bit of I need to see them didn't you understand? But I know I'm in hospital. Oh. The wedding industry. Girls floating down the aisle in fabulous dresses. You need to keep this on. Ghastly speeches, vast expense. <laughs> the divorce is going to cost even more. Mine did, anyway. You married? Yes, I am. Your doctor? Yes. Different hospital, though? No, this one. Really? That difficult at all, is it? Not in the slightest. Mrs. Collins, we're going to prescribe some medication in the hope that your operation can be postponed for a little while. Good. Hope you can get back to work. Well, a lot will depend on how you respond to that medication, but that is the intention. Hello? Mrs. Foster? Yes. Things are well in hand. No, no, I'm away from the office for a couple of days. All yours, far away. So, you've been moved up the queue. With any luck, someone? Yeah. <laughs> luck. I've been getting a lot of that lately, haven't I? Well, at least you're closer to the top of the queue. Oh, wake up, Becca. For God's sake, what do you think that means? I'm priority. Closer to death. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to shout at you. I'm not angry at you. I'm just... Just angry. Seeing you makes a difference. It really does. You just need to get your discharge papers ready. Advice on medication and so on. Yeah, that's right, you are. And we can organise a taxi. No, if... no, no. That's very nice of you, but I can get the bus. Don't you worry. Taxi might be better. Okay, right. Well, whatever you say. No problem since we last spoke? No, no. You've done a wonderful job. I'm very grateful. Good. You're comfortable about leaving the hospital? Yes, yes. Everything seems fine. Bleeding stopped. Bleeding? No, well, nothing really. A spot or two. <laughs> Not worth going on about. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, Mr. Byrne, uh, Scott James. His heart condition isn't stabilizing. Mr. Hope said to start him on 10 milligram of Valsartan if he didn't respond to the other drugs. OK, so go ahead. Yeah, but I'm not sure whether it's too soon or not. I'm, I'm Mr. Hope's in surgery, so... I will so be back I... shortly. In the meantime, just maintain the drug regime that Mr. Hope prescribed, right? Clarking. Right. Done for. Still waiting. I don't want details, just results. You said you wanted updates. Update me when you've finished. Right. Uh, <clears throat> Nurse Hanson asked me to uh, take a look at Mr. Flowers. There's some discoloration around the abdomen. Yes, I've diagnosed cellulitis and autism antibiotics. Just keep an eye on him, all right? Yeah, fine. Thank you. It is me, isn't it? It looks that way. Well, look, the offer still stands if you want to help. I'm fine. Mr. Flowers, uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at your. Uh, Infection. Uh, Daish, have you got a um, pen? I'm not sure. Excuse me. Just doodling. Hello. Oh, hi. Diet sandwich. Diet food. And I'm keeping you to it. Anyway, that looks delicious. Mmm, it is. Apart from the lettuce, tomato, cucumber and bread. Scott James, um, you said 10 milligrams of Alsartan if he didn't respond to the other drugs. Well, his CCF's worse. I wanted to if I ought to start him on it now. Um, you weren't here to ask, so... Well, uh, you could have asked Mr Byrne. I did. Well, I tried. What did he say? Uh, he said that he'd check him when he came back. He's not on the ward? No, no, not at the moment. Page me. Yeah, um, it doesn't matter. Is there a problem? Can we catch up later? All right. Mr. Rafferty's hoping to go home soon. Have you checked his obs? I think Matron assessed him earlier. Good. So he'll be ready to go. 
Everything all right? Couldn't be better. I've had a grand time. You've been in hospital? Yeah, but it's been a lovely break. Well, your discharge papers should be along soon, so you can get dressed if you like. Right. If you say so. Hey, 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 hey. Hmm. I've already been work experience. I've spoken to Mark and he said you won't be left on your own or asked to do anything you can't cope with. It's more like shadowing someone. Yeah, trotting along behind. Come on, you might enjoy it. Better than sitting at home and watching reruns of Friends all day, right? How do you know? Guessing. <laughs> Look, nobody's saying that you have to consider... No, no, I'll, I'll give it a go, OK? Why not? Good, uh, thanks. <laughs> well, I'm not on call till tomorrow, so to the hospital today and then we both start in the morning, OK? OK. <sighs> hospital smells. What? Well, you know, there's always that hospital smell, isn't there? Yeah, I suppose you get used to it. So, uh, whose shadow will I be? The nurse is only at you, probably. Look, Holly, I know things are difficult for you, for us, just at the minute. But I'm not trying to organise your life for you. And I'm not hoping that you'll empty a couple of bedpans and decide a career in nursing's right for you. It's just doing something must be better than doing nothing, we should. Yeah, well, I'm not against it, Dad. I mean, if I was, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> How many bedpans? Well, not as many as urine bottles. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so what are they like, the nurses? Professional, uh, good at the jobs. Uh, more importantly, they are around your age, so they'll look after you. Okay. Reminds me of when Mum... Well, I've tried him several times. I mean, he's a busy man. Yes, it's not quite that easy. Look, I've got a hell of a day. I'll call you as soon as I can. Yes, start him on the Valsartan. And I want him monitored hourly. You, you think he's in danger? I'm concerned. Put it that way, Mr. Byrne. Uh, is there a problem? Potentially. We can't take new orders until I've given the OK to the three we have in hand. And I can't do that unless I see them. But I don't care if she was on Britain's Got Talent. I need to see those other designs. Oh, I don't know, Samantha, you think of something. Dr. Valentine asked your opinion about a patient. She was concerned about his condition. Yes, I said I would get back to It was to a treatment-related question. He was arrhythmic. She needed an answer. I... No? OK. Point no. taken. Joseph, if things were different, I would be telling you to take compassionate leave, but with Rick and Connie unavailable... I know. Really? So, is this something you wanted to talk about or not? I didn't want Mark to overhear. I was going through your paperwork and I found an email from Vanessa Lytton about Mark's redundancy. You were going through my emails? You asked for help. And I expected them to involve hospital business and I was right. So, is this up for discussion or is he out on his ear? Look, I can't talk about this. No? Why not? Because it's confidential. Oh, I see. So he's about to be sacked, doesn't know anything about it, but it's confidential and not up for discussion. That's right. It's not. But just leave this with me, all right? No, not really. Seem to have lost Mr Rafferty. If you're tired, I can just go. No, 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 no. Stay. Come on. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> oh, you look fantastic. Oh, you? Thank you. Well, <laughs> I've got a job interview, so I can't stay very long. Wow, oh, that's great. You didn't tell me. I've literally just had them. Um, it's a new salon. It's quite trendy. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm OK. They put me on some different medications, so it's, it's good. No other news? Nothing, no. Um, I'm having these nightmares every time I go to sleep. Well, can't they give you something for that? What, for bad dreams? Mm. <laughs> no, I wish they could, but they... <laughs> <laughs> so, is it, is it more money, this job? Senior beautician. So it's more money, yes. Wow. <laughs> Look, 
I'm going to go.